What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Code Salad. Today we are going to be creating a Next.js based blog with the assistance of GitHub Copilot, also using Tailwind CSS. Let's get into it. The very first thing I want to do is start my Next.js app. So I'm going to do npx create next app and I'm going to call this project blog app and that's going to create my Next.js app and we're going to wait for this to complete. All right, that's done. So I'm going to CD into that folder that it created. And then now that we're in this folder, I can scroll down the Tailwind docs and I'm going to do some things that will install Tailwind CSS and allow us to use it all over our application. Um, and I'm just copying what they're doing over on the Tailwind website. Um, just following the instructions one by one. And once we do that, we should be good. So I'm going to change this path, save, and add this to the top of our global CSS file. All right. Actually, sorry, that's the top. That's the bottom. Um, need to add it to the top. All right. Now we're ready. Quick side note, if you're getting errors in all your JS files, like in tailwind.config.js here, and it's yelling about something called next slash babble, what you need to do is go into your eslint rc.json file, which was automatically generated already for you. Take this value it already has and add square brackets around it, and in, be in the front of it add quotes next slash babble, and then end quote and comma, and that should make all those errors go away. So now that our entire project is set up properly, let's dive right in. The root of every Next.js app always starts with pages. And inside of pages, we have an automatically generated Next.js uh, index.js file. So I'm going to start yarn dev here in the console. And we're going to see what this looks like. It's just a bare bones Next.js app. This is what everything comes with. I'm going to start by emptying out all the stuff in here by emptying out the main tag and I'm going to delete any unnecessary stuff and make the title of the page blog app. And I'm going to, yeah, remove any styles that are currently being used because we're going to use Tailwind as previously stated. So um, now that that's like this, I'm going to add some max width of 4XL and MX auto just to style the page a little bit. And inside of here, I just want an uh, H1 that says blog posts and um, I'm going to add some padding top to the overall page and then I'm going to give uh, this blog posts thing here maybe some some styles. So uh, I'm going to do maybe text 2XL, font bold, and let's see how that looks. That looks okay. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. And we have now blog posts. So that's cool. And now we want to list out all the blog posts. Where are we going to actually get those blog posts from? Well, let's create some dummy data because there's no need in pulling from an API right now. Uh, we can just create dummy data ourselves. So in the root of the app, create a file called dummydb.js. And in here, do dummy database. And I'm going to do a dummy database. And I'm going to create my own first one first. So I'm going to say first blog post as the title and I'm actually going to make it something more interesting. Maybe React is my favorite framework and why. And I'm going to do content um, lorem ipsum React is my framework of choice because um, and I'm going to add a comma there to get rid of the error but because because something, right? Um, I want GitHub Copilot to finish it for me, and it because it is the best framework out there. Good job, Copilot, um, being redundant, but that's okay. We have uh, we have some more content here. Sorry, I'm like fumbling with the code. So that's done. Um, every good blog post needs a slug. So. Uh, you know, a, a good slug to identify the blog post by, and then we close out the uh, the thing there. So now I'm going to kind of rely on GitHub Copilot to create some things here for me. 
Um, I'm going to see what it can create on the right hand side, if it can synthesize me any dummy data. Okay, cool. We got some Vue.js and Angular stuff. Can it give me any more? We have a Svelte one. How about, let's go for three. Um, we have Ember and Meteor. Cool. So we have a whole bunch of dummy blog posts here, right? And I'm going to clean up the code so that it's not erroring anymore. Um, where is the source of the error? Um, can't read declare. Oh, it created a whole bunch of stuff down here. Okay. So now that we have dummy data, I'm going to export it from this file and then at index.js, I'm going to actually map over the dummy DB and it's going to automatically import it there for us. Um, GitHub Copilot's taking over and it's writing me a blog post basically. And, um, let's see what that looks like. Um, cool. Um, <laughs> there's all of our blog posts on the page. Thank you, GitHub Copilot. That was nice and easy. I'm going to change the styles here because I don't necessarily agree with all of them. Um, I think that the content, there doesn't need to be all that content on this page because what we're going to actually do is create a blog post page individually for each blog post. So I'm going to cut the characters at 32 characters and just add a dot 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 so you can so that you know the user knows that there's kind of more here so we have a list of our blog posts i'm going to surround that in a border that's black and um, maybe make that rounded so it looks nice cool and on hover i want the background to go black and on hover i want the text to go white Cool, and now that I have that, I can change this to maybe a A tag so that it's a link, and I'm gonna surround it in a Next.js link tag right here that will make this thing clickable. And so we're gonna add an href, and that's gonna be there, and I'm also gonna add a pass href prop so that it gets passed to the A tag. And inside of here, basically I want, um, what do I want? I want slash blog slash um, post that slug. So if the blog post has a slug of foo, it's gonna, the, the URL is gonna be slash, sorry, slash blog slash foo, right? So how does that happen? Well, we haven't created the code for that yet. So to do that, we have to create a folder inside of pages called blog to follow that routing structure. And inside of blog, we have to create a square bracket slug and square bracket dot JS to match. And this file is going to be the is going to determine the actual page for each one of these blog posts. Now, this page looks incredibly broken. So let me fix that real quick. Um, uh, I have to do what here? What's going on? Why is it? Why is it doing that? Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, maybe maybe make this a block. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So now that you can do this, and when you click it, it will take you to a page that has a slug, and you can see that by the URL here. But we don't actually have a page yet there. So let's go back and actually create that page. So export default function blog post page, right? And this is gonna take some blog post as a prop and it's gonna return some stuff about the blog post. Um, and so I'm going to do this and um, maybe grab the head from this page just to copy that. And instead of it just being blog app, it's gonna be the blog posts um, and what do I name it? The title of the blog post is going to be the title of the page. And also, um, the main part of the page is going to be the title and we're also going to have the content. Um, and we don't need to truncate it at all. I want all the content this time around. Cool. And so I'm just going to add some more small styles around the... Uh, display of this page to make it a little more like our other page and tight and neat but basically um, we're almost there so once we import head um, it might load uh, title blog post title no because we didn't actually pass any data yet right we have to create the two uh, functions needed for any dynamic next.js page which is get static pads and get static props 
So uh, export async function get static pads, and it's going to prop. Yeah, there you go. It gives us get static props as well. And from this get static props, we want to return an object that has a key of props, which is another object that actually has the blog posts. And so when you actually go to a blog post page, Next.js knows the slug from the URL, so it knows the slug from here, and that comes in via params.slug. But I'm gonna show you how that works. So first we need to build get static pads, which is gonna return kind of an interesting uh, object. It's gonna return an object which has pads as a key, and that's gonna return a array of objects, and that object is gonna have params as a key, and then a object of the different params that make up the URL. In our case, it's just this blog post slug. And you know what those params are by the name of the file, which is a square bracket slug. So we're gonna pass params post.slug and GitHub Copilot was nice enough to create this for us. Um, and so now that get static pads is getting the blog post slugs, we can return the blog post from get static props by creating a key of blog posts and then finding the blog post that matches the slug from params and GitHub Copilot created that for me again, but let's unpack that. We're gonna go through the dummy database and find a blog post whose slug matches the currently accessing pages blog post slug. So if I'm on this page, it's gonna get this slug up here and match it and find it and then give that page that you know specific data. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna refresh and you'll see the data is here. The blog post you know, is here. I'm gonna separate the text so it looks a little nicer. But basically, uh, this is your blog post. And uh, just to make it look a little nicer, maybe I will extend the text out some more. Um, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I'm just going to do that for our convenience so it looks a little nicer to look at maybe. Um, but let's do that. So, you know, this is more of a blog post. And again, our regular page is just this one. And this shows all of the blog posts. Now, if I click this one, I go to the Next.js one. If I click the first one, I go to the React one. Now, one thing I want to add before we're done here is a back button because you need a back button to get out of the page because that's that just makes sense. So I'm going to create a button and I'm going to create a, another Next.js link that surrounds the button and this Next.js link is going to go to the root. So just slash and this button will say back to blog posts home. And this class name will be maybe P2 rounded full, um, hover BG black, hover text white so that you know you can click it right um, and let's add a border border black and mar margin bottom four so now we have this little thing here and it goes back to our home page and now we have a fully functional blog in Next.js and happily was assisted by Tailwind CSS and GitHub Copilot. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please put in the comments below. I love making these videos. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a very simple website uh, in Next.js. Thank you.